Just want to see if I get this audio working though. With Bitcoin Miami Crypto Lifer, we got so much to show you today. This is one of my favorite people in the whole space. So, you know, last night I went to a restaurant called Komodo and who did I bump into on the sidewalk was Leia. It's just like at the exact moment. And it was one of the few people I literally meditated on meeting here. You did? Yeah, but I thought maybe she'd be too busy in the back room waiting for interviews and I don't know if she'd be out, you know, and I'm just, but I, it was really nice to see her. Leia, I love what you say on Twitter, uh, not everything we're gonna, yeah, but I love your passion for life. Uh, I love how you don't back down. Um, you're stronger than a lot of men in the space, I'll have to be honest, you know what I mean? Uh, where did you get this passion? Like, at a, at, a, at a young age, did the whole family know that Leia was gonna break down doors or did it come out later on in life? And you know, uh, and why did you get into crypto? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I think for me personally, there's just so much wrong with the world right now. And you know, as a young person, I'm like navigating through it and I can see what's wrong with it and I don't like it. So for me, I just want to make as much impact as possible, make as much um, change as possible. Yeah, and we'll give you the idea for your book. Amazing that you're already writing a book. Do you have another book idea or, you know, and uh, when did you start doing that, you know? Yeah, I might do another book, we'll have to see. Um, I think there's so many Bitcoin books out there and they're all big, complicated, difficult to digest. There's nothing for the, for the, for the average person, for the layman. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to create something which anybody can digest, anybody can understand. You know, somebody, something that my friends can learn from. Um, and my friends have found it really valuable. They think, you know, it, it helps break down Bitcoin in a really concise and easy way. So that was the purpose of it. And yeah, there might be another one, we'll see. One thing I really liked about her book, I didn't read the whole thing, but I, bet I saw it recently. It was out uh, and I opened it up and I read some of the sections. And there was a section one through seven, what money is. Because before we teach people what Bitcoin is, we want to explain to them what real money is, right? And like, I started looking, researching the first gold coin ever, and then taking that, you know, and you think the credit card, you give your information to someone. I was charged twice once at a restaurant, but in Bitcoin, you send the money to the person, right? More secure, more peer to peer. So, uh, but the, the thing I loved about her book is it breaks down, because first you have to understand, why is something fungible? Uh, what makes it unique? You know, why is the dollar going to get printed to zero? And uh, you broke down those things just fundamentally. I could see in the first 10 to 50 pages, that person already can have a conversation. Right. A lot of people don't want to get into Bitcoin because they feel like they don't know enough and it scares them and they're going to look foolish and no one wants to look foolish, but it could be no further from the truth. It's supply and demand. You know what I mean? Uh, when did you first start getting into Bitcoin? Like how did you make, were you already into finance and what transitioned you to you know, be here now at Bitcoin Miami? Well, I think there's two reasons why people get into Bitcoin. The, well, three reasons. The first one is to make money. The second one is because they're in it for the tech. And then the third one, which is me, is your political ideologies. So I've always been a libertarian. I've always been very freedom-minded, always appreciated small government. For me, Bitcoin is the only um, vehicle which I think allows that. I think over the last three years with COVID and everything, you know, we saw them come for your livelihood, for your body, your job, everything and then they came for your money when people started protesting, right? In Canada, they closed that people's bank insane. accounts. When I saw what happened in Canada, not to cut you off, but like, I get fired up because yeah. those are our you know, brothers and sisters right there. And you can see it like getting more totalitarian, more t in a, and like in America, like that's why we came here. Like that, we found an America to get away from that, like from tyranny, you know? And uh, yeah, that's just, uh, uh, so you're a freedom fighter as far as I'm concerned. A lot of us are in crypto because we're freedom fighters and we care. Uh, so yeah, is, uh, thank you so much for being here. Any last words you want to say to my, uh, my audience? They're called the lifers. The lifers, Die hard okay. group of people, put yeah. their life on the line for crypto and each nice. other. Live in love, love is the strongest frequency. That's what we always say. And uh, you can't go wrong when you live in love. So any, any last words for my community? They love you. Oh, sure. Well, thank you so much for coming over, saying hi and doing this interview. Um, I've been following your stuff as well. I was like, I, I recognize you. My only words would be very pro-freedom. Make sure that you do not leave your money in the banks. Buy Bitcoin, become a sovereign individual, and uh, stay free. Okay.